Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Krista Cuisine. And today I'm about to show you how I make the goat meat mixed with spinach. So my goat meat and spinach stew. Um, for the stew we will need some onions, some garlic, maggi and some bay leaves. So I have chopped my onions and grated my garlic. We will need some thyme, I've got dried thyme. We need some pepper, grounded pepper or powdered pepper. We will also need some spring onions and the fresh peppers. Um, yes, you will then need some jumbo aroma, but yes, the quantity it is up to you. It also is, um, it depends on you really, it depends on how much meat you have in your pot. So yes, you have to be careful with the salt we use. Um, but if you think these are too much, you can just have maybe a few more cubes or salt to top it up. And here I've dropped the maggot cubes, the garlic, the grated garlic, the chopped onion and I'm going to put some thyme. That's it. That much. And a little bit of pepper. And my chamber. So I'm going to add a little bit more of June, but <coughs> it all, it's up to you how much um, meat you have in there. So for me, um, about a full spoon of June will be good. So I'm going to put some pepper. I've got a litre, about a litre of water, so I'm going to pour some and I'll have to come back. I've put some, about 500 ml so far, half a litre, and I will stir, leave it to pre-cook, then add some more water. Um, I've got a little so far. First thing, it all depends on how much meat you have in your pot. So, to leave it and boil properly, soften the meat, to actually soften the meat, I'm gonna pour the rest of my water in there. Uh, I will close the lid. Close the lid and then come back to it after about 45 minutes. Let's say 30 to 45 minutes to check. Okay. And the last one I have, as you can see, I have some skillet that I'm going to add in my stew. Uh, it says on the bag that it's been washed, but yeah, just had to wash it again. Just you never know. It's about two handfuls of spinach that's going into my pot. So don't worry, spinach can be spinach. Um, you will see when I add my spinach, you will see what it looks like and how it's going to shrink um, after adding it. So, yeah. So, it's just a quick wash because they said that it was washed from the package. Um, I 
or we need to walk back to actually check. You can find this in any store, either um, the pet store as well, or even in the markets, white roads. Yeah, if you find leaves like this, or you can use the frozen. Alright. So here, as you can see, I've just put the spinach leaves in the pot and I am stirring um, my meat, mixing them together and I will leave them to cook for some more because it has not softened yet. Yes, remember I told you that the spinach would shrink, so this is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, it, there's not too much in it in the pot, so the spinach has shrunk. Um, yeah, it looked a lot, but then it just vanished. So yes, the tomatoes have cooked, I fried them up to um, what I was expecting them to fry. Now I also have added two cheese maggi, uh, the chicken maggi, and stirring them together. Then I am going ahead putting them into, I'm going to put the sauce into my pot to continue cooking.
for extra nice smell, I decided to add the green speech bonnets inside um, just to bring out the smell. But I'm not going to squeeze these because I have little children eating as well. Otherwise, it's going to be spicy. So I don't want my stew to be very spicy for the kids. Yeah, this hot boiling water is for the semolina. We are going to have this stew with the semolina. But then you can have this stew with boiled uh, plantain, potatoes or rice so it's up to you you can also have it with bread if you like but yeah for us as far as we're gonna have it um with the semolina just yeah if you don't know how to cook your semolina you can watch me um so here i am staring I'm giving this a stir. I've put some in the hot water and my semolina is the coarse one because I can't do the fine uh, powder. I use the coarse uh, semolina. It's easy, very easy for me. Uh, yes, this is how I am making it. So I also leave my semolina to boil. Then I will add some more and as you can see I am giving it I'm staring staring uh, with a wooden spoon. So yes, I got to the point where I'm adding the fiku um the starch in. I like it with the starch, potato starch. Um, yeah, you stir it, carry on stirring because I don't like the bubbles coming out of my fufu if you like. Um, so I stir continually until I have the consistency I do like. Normally, it's in the first prediction. Jean Bouillon, Jean, Jean, Jean. And you want me to get that. You see? You feel free to have a pet. You eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat. I'm not going to have a place for this, I'm just going to have a place for this. 